Now we've got four exercises to do to learn this folding motion. One is done without a golf club, and I call it hitching a ride. It's just like this. You're learning to turn that, fold that uh, trail arm. Next one, take a club in your hand, and then you just fold your arms. You're learning how to do the fold. Third one, we're going to do that fold and turn. Finally, the last one, we're going to get into our golf stance and then turn and fold our arms. I know these exercises seem too small, and you're right, they are too small. They're too small to screw up. If you show somebody a complicated compound movement and expect them to get it right the first time, they're going to screw it up. On the other hand, if you break it down into small pieces, pieces that are too small to screw up, they're going to get it right the first time. Honestly, it's easier to do these smaller exercises and get them right the first time than it is just trying to jump into the full movement and getting it wrong. Because when you get it wrong, you ingrain it into your swing wrong, and then you really are screwed up. Okay, let's get started. I want you to take your trail arm, and I want you to put it across your chest. Think of putting your elbow in this notch. Take your other hand and put it just above that crease in your elbow. Now, just let your arm kind of relax, and then hit your ride. Hit your ride. I want you to bring your trail arm vertical when you do this, okay? Vertical. Don't do it like this, this is wrong. It's vertical, hit your right. When you do this, I want you to keep, keep this bicep and arm still. That's why your hand is here. Just keep that still and hit your ride. Hit your ride. Remember, we're folding these arms. We're not swinging them around. So let's just hit your ride. Now we're going to fold our arms with a golf club. And we're going to do this exercise standing straight up. The reason for that is to remove the angles from your swing so it becomes more clear what you're doing. The angles in the golf swing are what confuse a lot of people about what's happening. And remember, small steps. We're doing a little bit at a time so you can focus on that small movement. So we're gonna stand straight up. We're not gonna turn. We're just gonna focus on folding our arms. I want you to take your club, put it in your hands, and just hold it out in front of you. Now I want you to just take your trail arm and hit your ride. Just hitch a ride, just like you did in the previous one. This is mostly a trail arm movement. Your lead arm is just kind of along for the ride. Now notice at the top, your lead arm should be straight. The back of your wrist should be flat. And your lead arm should be parallel or with the ground. What's more, your trail arm, your bicep should be on top of your chest. It should not be out here or behind you. Your trail arm, just like the previous hitching a ride, remember we held it so it would stay on top of your chest. This is going to feel more like a lifting motion with your lead arm than a slinging it back. That's okay. Remember, your arms are supposed to stay in front of your chest. Now, I know this is a huge paradigm shift for most of you. You're used to thinking in terms of throwing your arms back or swinging them around your body, but that's not what happens. Your arms stay in front of your chest. I mean, how many instructors have you heard say, keep your arms in front of your chest? Almost all of them that I can think of. Well, keep your arms in front of your chest means just that. Keep your arms in front of your chest. If you're swinging them around your body, they're not staying in front of your chest. This is keeping them in front of your chest. 
this is swinging them around your body. Totally different movement. In front of your chest, swing around your body. Totally different. Keep your arms in front of your chest. Now we're doing this exercise without turning for a purpose. When you stand and turn and fold, it really feels like you're throwing your arms around your chest. It creates some kind of physical illusion. The reality is what you're doing is you're turn, folding your arms and turning. When you turn and fold, it feels like you're throwing your arms back. You're not. That's why for this exercise, we want to emphasize the folding by not turning. Again, remember small steps, steps that are so small you can't screw them up. By doing this exercise without turning and just folding your arms, you're emphasizing in your mind that the turn is actually a shoulder and chest movement. It is not an arm movement. Your arms are just folding. The turn backwards is with your tor torso, your shoulders and chest. Now we're gonna turn and fold our arms at the same time. So again, we're gonna do this exercise standing straight up. We're gonna eliminate those angles so you can see what you're doing. So take your club in your hand, put it in front of you, and I want you to just fold and turn. Now remember, the turn is a turn of your chest, like that. It is not a turn with your arms. Your arms stay in front of your chest. Go ahead and let your head turn also. Okay, we're not focused on that at the moment. So just put it in front of you, fold and turn. Now you'll notice you're getting a little bit of a swinging feeling in this in your arms. But you know, because you've done the exercises, that you're really just folding your arms in front of your chest. And then you're turning your chest back away from the target. It's just a chest turn, it's not an arm turn. That's part of the illusion that you pick up in golf. Again, it's just fold and turn. Fold and turn. Fold and turn. That's it. It's just your fold combined with turning your shoulders or turning your chest. Just point your chest back at the target. It's just a core turn of your body. I'm not worried about much about the mechanics of your turn at this point. I just want you to think of turning your body. We're not swinging your arms, we're folding them. Again, fold and turn. And that's the exercise. It's time to put it all together. So we've done the small moves. Let's put them all together. Take your club. Put it in front of you and get in your golf stance. Now what I want you to do is just turn and fold. Turn and fold. Turn and fold. Now I want you to do one more thing here for me. When you get to the top, I want you to just stop. Hold your arms in place, stand up straight, and turn to the front. Now, is that your, that's your arm position at the top, and it should be the exact same arm position you made when we just folded. Are they the same? Is this the same as this. If they are, you've done it correctly. If not, you've messed up. You've somehow gotten your arms out of sync with your body. They're not in front of your chest. Now, I want you to do this exercise or this little double check 
on every repetition of the exercise. Turn, stand up, and face forward. It's important your arms remain in front of your chest. That was the whole point of this drill. The whole point of the entire series is to keep your arms in front of your chest. You just fold them instead of swinging them. 